You know, one day we wake up and the, the barriers are up. The next day we wake up, the fences are up. The next day they put the green uh, fabric up. And one day they lock the doors. I think it's a great policy being able to set up a tent and, and stay where you want instead of being harassed by the, the by the police and pushed off somewhere else. They're now being called safe sleeping villages, find empty parking lots, allow people to come in, bring their tents in, have those tents spatially distanced, have 24 seven staffing, provide hand washing facilities and bathrooms and meals. And rather than just having encampments popping up, uh, helter skelter wherever they may, um, the city exerts some control over it and says that there are some areas where it is okay to be and we're gonna regulate those areas. Homelessness is a lot more visible now. Uh, part of the reason is because the city hasn't been going through and taking people's tents. The reality is that there's a lot more people that are on the street and there's no alternatives. So this is the first site that the city's created to uh, actually provide a space that people can actually be. And so this allowed for them to separate. So instead of being on top of each other, they were able to get distancing between the tents. Well, I've been homeless since I was 14. I'm, I'm 32 now. I just turned 32 on May 13th. We're still on the street. You know, that's still the street. We're still on the sidewalk in a tent, you know? I mean, if there was somebody sick, we'd spread it to one another fast, you know? So, I mean, we need walls protecting us.